Good morning, afternoon, or evening, loved of God. I hope that you are all keeping well. This is a question that some may be battling with, may be wondering, is it okay for me as a daughter of God to wear jewellery? Can a child of God wear jewellery? And the answer is yes, we are allowed to wear jewellery. As you can see, I've got like a necklace and a ring and earrings and I've also got like a bracelet where is it there nothing too like extravagant um quite simple I love hearts <laughs> my earrings and my necklace are a heart and I've also got a heart ring which I'm not wearing um and even like if it's like you know you're getting married or you're attending a wedding going to a birthday there's nothing wrong with wearing like jewelry that's more um more shiny <laughs> i guess the way of putting it i love those like earrings like the square ones where they have lots of diamonds in it but it's not something that i wear all of the time especially because they're quite heavy on your ears so they're probably not good to wear all the time because it can actually cause the um hole in your ear to kind of like to um, widen so it's almost like the hole is is sagging so health wise is not the best to wear all of the time um but but yeah i do like to just wear some nice subtle jewelry um for the majority of the time um and it, and it is okay in a scripture that i wanted to 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 share because i know that there are some um denominations that say that you're not able to but even ask them i remember being in a denomination and them saying that that denomination believed that you couldn't wear jewelry and i do believe for us we are to respect our bridging paul said that if eating meat causes my um bridging uh, to be offended then i won't do it around him so whenever i would attend that church i wouldn't wear jewelry but if they was to ask me i wouldn't lie and say no i don't wear it i don't believe that i'm not allowed um, but they never did ask me, but I would just not wear it when I went to any of those those churches. And I remember once I was actually in the church and you could ask questions. Um, and I had asked, you know, you could um, send in the messages. And then they was, there was a preacher from overseas and he was answering the questions. And I asked, um, where in the Bible does it say that we're not allowed to wear jewellery? <laughs> and I wasn't sure if they were kind of going gonna, to kind of gonna skip it. Because there's been other places where I've asked questions um, and, and not about that, but about other things that the, the church is preaching and I know that it's erroneous. Um, and I don't want to be like one to stand up and, you know, disturb. God is still a God of order um, and then just say, oh, that's not true. Da, 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 da. I just kind of, um, if it's something that is really, you know, a, a foundational issue, a salvational issue, I just, I wouldn't go to that, attend that church. Um, but yeah, so I asked the question and then he said, oh, you know, there's lots of young people here, you know, this question's going to come up. And then he couldn't even give an answer. And he said, you know, we are allowed to wear it. And I was so shocked because I was like, he was a member of that church. That church preaches that you can't wear it. And he said he told his daughter, he even said, you know, a lot of these women who are preaching, you can't wear jewellery and don't wear jewellery. You want to see them on their wedding day. They are decked out in jewellery. And it is hypocritical. It really is. If we're not allowed to wear something, then it can't be we're not allowed to, but only on our wedding day. If we're not allowed to wear something, then, <laughs> then we're not allowed to wear it. And so... <laughs> It is very, um, it is very hypocritical and I feel like the people themselves, sadly, they believe that they are allowed to wear it but because they don't, again, want to offend their brethren, that's the church that they go to, they just don't wear it. But then when it comes to the wedding, they're like, oh, this is only going to happen once. You know, for the, for the most part, it's, it happens once and so they just, they just really want to you know, wear nice jewellery and look beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you should ask them because the people who are preaching it sometimes themselves, um, you know, don't actually believe it, but they're preaching it because that is the, that is like the doctrine of the church and that's the only reason why they're preaching it. And he said that he even told his daughter that she could wear um, 
I think he was a pastor that was visiting and he that she could wear jewellery on her wedding day and um, I, I don't know I think he said she can wear jewellery but like it shouldn't really be over excessive and everything like that and the scripture that came to my mind on this topic is um, when God was even describing Israel and he described he said that how he put jewellery on them and it's in the book of Ezekiel chapter 16 okay let me stop hands now <laughs> um verse you can read from verse one but I'm going to start from verse seven and it reads oh it's gone big now so I'm going to read yeah from verse seven I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field and thou has increased and waxing great and thou art come to excellent ornament thy breasts are fashioned and thy hair is grown whereas thou was naked and bare now when i passed by thee and looked upon thee thy time was the time of love i spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness yea i swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee saith the lord god and thou becamest mine that then washed I thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger skin. And I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk, embroidered work. Thou did eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful, and thou did prosper into a kingdom. Praise God. And the scriptures here that, that talk about jewellery is, verse 11, I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hand. Bracelet, jewellery, I put a chain. On thy neck, I showed you at the beginning, I had a bracelet. I've, I've got a bracelet on a necklace. Verse 12, I put a jewel on thy forehead and earrings in thine ears. I've got earrings and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Verse 13, thus was thou decked with gold and silver. Now, if God didn't want us to wear jewellery, then he wouldn't be describing Israel, saying that he took them when they was in their wretchedness. And he, he's basically like turning them into like a beautiful bride because we are the bride of Christ praise God and if God doesn't want us to wear something he wouldn't now describe um, Israel um, as putting that on them for example the attire of uh, a harlot that is displeasing to God now imagine if that read again like verse um, 9 and 10 then washed I thee with water yea I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee and I anointed thee with oil I clothed thee also with the attire of a harlot and I shod thee with badger skin yea you were dressed with the attire of a whore and I covered thee with scarlet you'd be thinking what <laughs> I mean it just doesn't even make sense that would be an oxymoron God hates he doesn't like the attire of a harlot, the attire of a whore, and yet he would describe him taking Israel from their wretchedness into a beautiful bride by putting on them the attire of a harlot. It doesn't make sense. And so too, if God didn't want us to wear jewellery, he wouldn't use it to describe turning Israel um, from their wretchedness into a beautiful bride because um, it would be an oxymoron. He would be using something that he doesn't like in order to, in order to, um, to turn Israel into a people um, fit for, for, for him, fit for our Saviour's coming, praise God. And so yeah, I really hope that that just um, you gave you your answer if you was somebody who wasn't quite sure, who was wondering if you're allowed or if you're not allowed to. You are allowed and um, it, it is um, it's not displeasing to God. It's not um, a sin. <laughs> it's definitely not a sin in order to, to wear jewellery. So I hope you have a wonderful day in our amazing, righteous and holy saviour. 
God bless you. Take care.